Hello everyone and welcome back to the Eagles franchise, off-season number two. As mentioned in the last episode, I still plan on getting an offensive coordinator. We'll see how that goes, and this is our balance sheet. Looking pretty decent, I'd say. Now, let's go to staffing. See what we got here. Uh, let's check our coaching staff first to see who we have. We still have Andy Reid. Our offensive co uh, coordinator is uh, Childress. Which I'm going to be releasing. Yes, I'll be releasing him. Defensive coordinator Johnson has been offered a job. And Harbaugh. Motivation 59, worth I get 60. 40 chemistry, 42 knowledge. I mean, he ended up being a pretty good head coach. I don't know if the game was transitioning that very well. Only a 71 offense, 79 defense. Let's see what kind of coaches we have. Uh, it's possible we can get this guy back, though. Unfortunately, we had to lose him way too early. Poor Johnson. Alright, who do we have that's really good on the offense here? We have Martz, Weiss, Moore, Saunders, Knapp, Kimiak, Clements, West. Childress was only an 80 in offense, so pretty much anyone above him is an upgrade. What about quarterbacks? Quarterbacks overall. Martz is the best quarterback guy available. Uh, was that to be the best running back guy as well? No, uh, Rathman is definitely that. Ninety-nine knowledge. This guy seems to be a great uh, candidate, but I don't know if he'll go, really go for an offense. He'll be an expensive offensive coordinator. That's for sure. Set that to my offer though. All right. Well, we got our upgrade. We need a training staff. Uh, looks like it. So I'll just hire that guy. Uh, coach progression, change owners, no. Our price is still fine. Prices are still fine. Stadium, not really looking at any upgrades at the moment. My team, storyline central, offensive menu. Uh, Off-season menu, yes. Progression. Uh, Green is now an 83 overall. No longer a rookie. He has 90 awareness now. Okay, that's good. Uh, throw power is still at 80. Still needs to improve on that. And a 93 throw, throw accuracy. He definitely needs to improve on his throw power. I'm committed to getting the Eagles to the Super Bowl. I'm glad to hear that. Got Offensive Rookie of the Year. What are those roles? Good luck dealing with me. This would get very ugly and very public. Look, what's your problem? Did he not play enough? But he had more numbers than Westbrook, so... I don't understand his problem. Tired players. I'm only going to keep a... Um, uh, Reno here is because he's cheap and he fills up the uh, the third spot. Which if I go out and go try to look for anyone else, it'll probably cost more. Uh, wide receiver is still something I would like to get in the draft. As well as, um, I think defensively we're pretty fine. Probably a defensive tackle. I would have to, uh, I could have to find out through here. So, of course, we have uh, Calvin Brandon. Uh, uh, Green still has five years in his contract. So, I'll definitely... Uh, for 2020, that's... That's fine. The Eagles are first class organization. Thank you, Calvin. 
Buck Halter is not happy. So if you're not happy, I'll ha be happy to trade you. Broncos are taken for a second round fourth overall, so let's go with that. Broncos and I are pretty good. Yay. All right. Yeah, you're happier. And you're on my second team, so good luck, bud. Okay, fullback. Uh, Curtis Burt, his contract's up. He's 52 overall Pro Bowler. Who would have thought, right? With 98 speed and 34 awareness. Hopefully that can improve. 36 injury. 78 kick returning. Doesn't even have the best kick returning. But hey, made the Pro Bowl as a kick returner, so... I would be happy... Offer him a long term deal. A little bit more of a bonus. Go with that. So, really, the only needs I'm seeing, at least immediate, is, uh. Hmm. It's defensive end and wide receiver. As well as a backup uh, running back. So I'll probably be looking at wide receiver in the first round if there's one available. I'd rather take a running back either second or third round if possible. And second round will probably be the defensive end. Or if I take a defensive or if there's a defensive end available at 22, then I can take that and go wide receiver in the second round. Highest of uh, these guys. So I'll scout him, scout him, and scout him. Uh, scout George, Warner, Figgins, Moss. Harrison. Ross. Haynes. Jordan. I like a running back named Jordan. Olsen. Madden. Carey. And last one. Just for kicks, let's scout the top quarterback. Alright, let's see what we have so far in this guy. He'll dr he's a drive killer, mainly due to his fumbling problems. Ooh! <gasps> sounds like Carson Wentz. That sounds completely like Carson Wentz. Not as tall as him, though. What does it say on this dude? Does not have the leg drive to move piles. Oof. Uh, Stabler. Good receiver who has a regular target. Of his, who was a regular target of his quarterback in the passing attack. That's good. He's amazing run power and average hand. Good, 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 good. And I'll rescout him some more then. Uh, drives with his legs to gain yards through traffic. It says his run power is average, but he has that note, so. Okay, what about George here? He has arguably the best hands at wide receiver in the draft. And he's also a great kicker turn. So, he might be taking... Uh, if he's number one receiver, I really don't want him kick return. Uh, Warner here. Explosive tackler with power to jar the ball loose. Okay, I like that. We'll scout him more. Diggins. All of the NFL scouts rave about his hands. It's also an amazing kick return. Got Moss. Hard wrap 
a tap tackler if he puts all of his weight behind his strikes. Okay. Sounds like a good one. Harrison. Certainly wouldn't hurt to have him returning kicks. Hmm. So nothing on his... Uh, he's 24. Maybe skip him. Sell attacker who will wrestle the ball carriers to the ground. Haynes. Powerful tackle breaker with excellent balance and strength. Okay. John Haynes. Sounds like a good back. Jordan. He's very good at cradling the ball securely. Okay, so he's not a fumbler. That's good to know. And he's 5'8". And he's good power, good hands. Lorenzo Jordan. I like that. Olsen. Poor tackler that needs to extend his arms more. Okay, you're not being uh, scouted anymore. Average tackler won't scare any offensive tackles. Okay, you're being looked over. He's got to keep his shoulders square when taking a uh, stack in the pile. Okay, so not him either. So out of the 15 I scouted, I'm re-scouting 8 of them. So that's the quarterback, why not? So let's go back here. There's no way we're getting this guy. Because he's a top 5, we're not in the top 5. So wide receiver. Let's see if there's anyone I missed. Not a lot of wide receivers early on. Uh, we have Jennings. I must have missed him. So let's scout Jennings. There's Hanson. I really don't need any more quarterbacks. So, unless there's someone I absolutely fall in love with, I'm not looking at another quarterback. <laughs> this guy's name is Jammer. Steve Jammer. Uh, this guy's name is Washington. Watch him get drafted by Washington. Uh, Carroll. Scott Carroll. Six foot twenty-one. Amazing run power. A six-foot power guy? I've always had good, um... Good luck with uh, six-foot-plus power guys, so we'll scout him for sure. Got Warren. Jeez, oh, this name, Warren, will just not escape me. I swear to God. Pritchett. Kurt Pritchett, five-foot-eight. Average power, good hands, good kicker. Right, we'll scout him. We got two more, we got O'Neal. Go with him. We'll look at Hunter. Alright. What else do we get on the quarterback here? Uh, he has an unbelievable arm, never panics in the pocket, showing poise and composure. So, other than him having a fumbling problem, everything else about him sounds really good. He's running a 4.38. He probably has like 97 to 99 speed. Wait, no. No, 4.38. That's probably more like a 90... 91 speed-ish. It right, wasn't you. Steve Stabler. A uh, shifty runner around the corner with incredible acceleration. Okay, so we have the acceleration. We'll usually improvise and create and the hole is clogged. Alright, so this guy is really looking good. He's also from LSU. Same as my kicker turner. More comfortable moving the chains than going for the big play. Does not have the top end speed to elude in the open. My, he's six foot two. He's a big guy. He's from Pittsburgh. So maybe I'll look at him some more. Wide receiver. He's he's as good as any NFL receiver at not fumbling. He's pretty good at staying healthy. All right. 
corner. Has an average recognition skills for physical inline run defense. He has no history of injuries. Alright, good. Biggins. Shows the acceleration needed to run past defenders. His interview was good. He will improve with coaching. Okay. Looking at him more then. Can we skip a little? No, okay. This is... He won't spend a lot of time with the trainers, but I keep an eye on him. Lacks athletic ability, speed, and has to compensate with technique. Uh, okay, uh, John Haynes. Body, body catches, but still has reliable hand. It's quite the specimen at the right, halfback position. Quite the specimen. Okay, so... Alright, we'll look at him some more then. Jordan. Maintains concentration going up for the ball to make the catch in traffic. Shifty runner around the corner with incredible acceleration. Alright, I'm still liking the sound of him. Decent 40 time for an NFL receiver. Oh, this is the new guy we looked at. That's the only thing we got? Maybe look at him some more. I think Olsen we skipped over. Yeah. Olsen and Madden. And Carey. Scott Carroll is new. Needs to improve his off-season conditioning. Tends to get injured easily. Oy. Amazing power, but he not. He, I really don't want someone who's injured a lot. Plays two injuries at one of the toughest positions in the NFL. I so he's a tough guy. All right, we'll look at him some more then. Pritchett. He isn't going to be a back that breaks tackles. He'll have to be elusive. Please. All right, does not sound good. O'Neal. Solid receiver, has room for improvement. All right, well, let's look at him some more and see what else he has. He's got to keep his shoulders square when attacking. Okay, no. All right. So I still have five more spots. So... Do I want to look at more receivers? I think I have plenty of running backs. How many running backs am I looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm looking at 7 running backs. Any, like, ridiculously fast ones? No, uh, Little here is the fastest one. It's funny, his name is Little, and he's 6 foot. Average power, bad hands, bad kick return. Okay, not looking at him then. I think running back we're fine. Uh, wide receiver, one, two, three, four, five. We have only look at five receivers. Uh, this guy is a three, two, forty. Good run power, good hands, good kick return. All right, well, let's look at Johnson. One else, uh, 428, Finley. Great hands, we'll look at him. Another 428 in Moy. Average hands, better options. All right, defensive ends. Ooh, guy named Reynolds. Above average tackle. And we can find out more from him. Morales! Just like Miles Morales from Spider Man. Great tackling. We'll look at him then. Uh. I think that's it for defensive end. What else are we gonna need? I think for the most part we're good? First, a second rounder of kicker? What makes him so highly rated? Oh, 
Alright, we'll take a look at him. Why not? And that's the last one we get. Shows the range to make three pointers from 50 yards out. Okay. What else? Defensive end. New defensive ends we're looking at. Were Reynolds and Morales. Has an average acceleration for normal DE. Hard wrap up tackler who puts all this weight behind his strikes. Okay. So Gerald Morales sounds pretty good. From that first one. Uh, new receivers. We have Johnson. Doesn't really show good acceleration heading up field. Okay, so that's not great. What about Finley here? Good hands. He needs work on his hand eye coordination. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Right, final report for a quarterback. That's it. For the quarterback. Right, did anyone get anything extra? Uh, Stabler. Holds clogged, has the abil agility to spin away from tacklers, keeps his pad level low as he bounces off arm tackles. Okay. So it sounds like Stabler might be the best overall running back option if he's available. He's only 5'8", though. Mark Jackson has lateral agility to quickly bounce outside, will usually improvise and create when the hole is clogged. Okay. So Jackson also sounds good. He's six foot two, average run power, 22 years old. He's a year younger than Stabler. He's he's a big guy, and I like big guys at running back. So I might go for Jackson if both of these guys are available. Uh, George in the upper regulation of smart receivers in this draft. All right, so that means he has awareness, has marginal change of direction agility. All right. So George sounds like a really good choice at receiver as well. Slow to come out of his stance. Active in pursuit, using his power to get through traffic wall. Well. Alright, so Warner does not sound necessarily fantastic. Does now great agility. Has above average leap and ability. Okay, so big ends. Doesn't sound great. Lacks athletic agility speed and has to comp compensate with technique. That, that's Moss. Harrison. We have the kick returner. Haynes. Lacks ideal speed and needs to gather himself after medium runs. Lacks creativity, only taking what his offensive line gives him. Effective blocker who does a fine job protecting his quarterback. That's good. It's also 5'8". Can make defenders miss in the open with his slick juke moves. Alright. Jordan still sounds pretty good of a pick. Jennings, uh, Olsen, Madden, Carey, Carroll, Warren. Uh, lacks the speed to beat his man around the corner. Very alert and extinctive athlete, showing aggression in his demeanor. So he, he's aggressive, but he's not exactly that fast. But he plays through injuries. Bruce O'Neill. He has great field awareness, remarkable route. That's good. That means he can get open. Decent 40 time for an NFL receiver. Alright, so he has the agility and route running to get open. That's good to know. All right, so I'm, it's kind of hard. I mean, whoever's available at my spot, I, I'm gonna have to choose from there, to be honest. Let's go with the draft. All right, well, the best player on the board is quarterback, Blake. Scouted. Warner is our top one available. That is not great. Because his scouting report's not necessarily that great. 
I got Figgins. Moss. Hanson, Harrison, Ross, Haynes, Jordan. Best one we have is uh, Biggins here. He's not even that amazing. Doesn't have good agility for an NFL receiver. Has above average leaping ability. Shows acceleration though. And he apparently has great hands. So if I'm gonna be 24 though, he's pretty old. The other guy is Harrison, who we didn't scout all that much. I think I'm probably gonna have to go with Figgins because Warner and Moss are underwhelming with their scouting report. So I'm gonna have to go with Figgins. Luckily, we have an early second round pick. I could maybe take, uh... I really want to go for, uh, Jordan. Because he seems like the best option. You don't know he's not the biggest option. The biggest running back, Carroll, six foot, five eight. Yeah, I think six foot is my biggest running back. So I think the other guy was taken. So we're gonna go with Lorenzo Jordan to uh, back up Westbrook. Apparently, we're gonna have to use our later second round pick to go for a defensive end. Scouted Harrison still here. Ross. Uh, Madden, not great. Carey, I don't think was great either. Yeah. Warren. I think Warren is. Probably the best out of the available ones. You know, he lacks speed. He's an instinctive athlete. He shows aggressive in his de demeanor. He plays through injuries. Hunter, I didn't really get that much on. Same with Reynolds. Average acceleration. That's all I can get out of him. Morales. I need a defensive end, and Warren is the best option. He's big, too. Probably the reason why he's so slow is because he's big. Maybe he could turn into something. Alright, out of the scouted ones we have, we have O'Neal, Remarkable Route Runner, Johnson, doesn't feel great acceleration, we have Finley, Morales, I'm gonna go with O'Neal. Just solely because he's a really good route runner. He might be a good receiver. I saw that he was a possession receiver, so that might be uh, more ideal. The rest of these picks really don't matter. Let's just look at available. We have a kicker available, we have a corner, we have a safety, another corner. Left tackle named Maddox, who has above average run blocking and amazing pass blocking, which is ideal for a uh, defensive, uh, offensive tackle. So I might just go with him just for that. So because our some of our O line is technically getting older, and if I need to move him over to right tackle, depending on who retires first, I can always do that. We don't necessarily need a kicker or a punter just yet. But that's for someone else, Mayberry. Above average tackling, below average hands. 
Chucky Mayberry. I guess for that name alone, sure. Uh... Linebacker named White. Good tackling, bad hands. Uh, Leonard Avery. Great run blocking, good pass blocking. Let's go with the offensive lineman. And I think that's it for our draft. So we didn't get everybody we wanted. Because a lot of them did actually go earlier than expected. I guess. I don't know exactly. But we got some people that we were scouting and looking at. Hopefully, we made some pretty good picks. First is the oldest one in the draft, Glenn Figgins. Off Figgins. Submit that. He's a 74 overall. Seventy-four overall with eighty-eight catching, eighty-eight speed, eighty-seven excel, seventy-seven agility, sixty awareness, eighty-four jumping, and eighty-one kick return. I still don't think he's really gonna be uh, taking the other kid because the other kid made the Pro Bowl, so he's probably just gonna be a slot receiver or something. Next is the running back. Running back, a 69 overall. Alright, so not necessarily great. He has 85 speed, 88 uh, agility, 65 braid tackle, 87 carry, and speed awareness, 81 acceleration. Uh, 91 injury, so he's not going to be getting really hurt. I mean, he could have potential. Uh, next is Warren. Eh, probably have him be at right end best. I mean, I don't know if he's going to have enough overall to beat out the other guy, though. 68 overall, yeah. With 76 tackling, 72 strength. Uh, 85 toughness with 84 injury, which are going to be O'Neal and Mayberry here. Cut the remaining. Alright, back to the reordering of the death charts. Still going to have the same quarterback lineup. We're going to have Jordan playing over Mai, of course. Hopefully Jordan can uh, be a good number two. We have Owens, Pinkston, Mitchell, Biggins, Lewis. And Bert. Tight end, still the same. Lindsay, unfortunately, is not that fast. Left tackles, left guards, centers, right guards. Break tackles. Defensive ends. So I'm probably going to put the uh, rookie Warren right there. And one right here. It's better at a right end than he is a left end. We're in number 98. Tackles. Left outside linebackers. Inside linebackers. Right outside. Corners. I do like Shepard over Brown. Shepard being number one, Brown being number two. Kicker, punter, kicker turner. No, Burt is going to be kicker turner. Biggins can be kicker turner number two. But Burt made the Pro Bowl as a kicker turner, so I'm not going to have him lose his job immediately because of it. There you go. 
Cal Specialist, Long Snappers, Third and Down Running Back. And there we go. Start new season. All right, I think that's going to be it for the off season. I'm going to stop here on the training camp. Uh, training camp. Hopefully, we can improve some of our guys. And let's hope uh, year three will be the year of the Super Bowl. I really hope so. We have a brand new offensive coordinator. That is really good on offense, so hopefully our offense is explosive. I want it to be loads better than was last year because our offensive coordinator was worse last year than it is this year. So I'm expecting better numbers from the offense this year. And our defense is not that much different, so I'm expecting around the same from the defense. Now... When it comes to the future plan, I don't have one quite yet. Maybe when we win the Super Bowl here, I might move up to a uh, Madden 07 or 08. Because I, I personally think Madden 07 is my favorite. I read, I worded that wrong. I don't think it's my favorite. It is my favorite. Along with 8. Madden 05, though, I, I heard from a lot of Madden fans is one of the best Madden ever made. So that's why I did Madden 05 first. Now, I'm actually starting to like, you know, Berth and Green as my rookies. And maybe the other rookies I'll uh, get to know and like as the time goes on as well. But uh, definitely give me your thoughts down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if want to see more. I mean, views and likes is what's going to keep Madden 05 going. If I see numbers drop or say roughly the same, I guess, then I'm just going to move on as I please. But if you guys want to see more, then I'll do more. But if numbers don't really in improve all too much, or, you know, there's not enough support in my eyes. I uh, will move on as I see fit. I would like to continue doing the sports every single Sunday. But, due to my schedules, it's some Sundays are going to be hard. So, I don't know how consistent I can make that. But, I am trying. I'm trying my best. I hope you guys enjoy and appreciate my efforts. With that said, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good week.